Really? Uh, well, what about your connection to the Kremlin cash, Mr. Podesta? Joining us right now from Tallahassee is uh, Peter Schweitzer. He's the author of Clinton Cash, president of the Government Accountability Institute. Peter, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. So tell us about uh, John Podesta and his connection to uh, a, a Kremlin-backed company. Well, in, in 2011, John Podesta joins the board of this very small energy company called Jewel Energy, based out of Massachusetts. About two months after he joins the board, a Russian entity called Rus Nano puts a billion rubles, which is about $35 million, into John Podesta's company. Now, what is Rus Nano? Rus Nano is not a private company, Steve. It is a fund directly funded by the Kremlin. In mm -hmm. fact, the Russian science minister minister called Rusnano Putin's child. So you have the Russian government investing in one of John Podesta's business is in 2011 while he is an advisor to Hillary Clinton at the State Department. While he's an advisor to Hillary Clinton. Okay, does anybody in the Trump circle uh, rise to the level where there's uh, this kind of money involved? Uh, no, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, nobody that is, you know, has an advisory role in the White House uh, has had this money exchanged, and certainly the money hasn't exchanged, as far as we know, right. uh, while they have been advising the president. Okay, so all that big money when he was the uh, uh, an advisor to Hillary Clinton, who was running for president, he was all, and also at, at the uh, U.S. Department of State, but also wasn't he a special counselor to Barack Obama when he was president and did not disclose the fact that he had apparently, it looks like, in his portfolio, all this Russian money? Oh, yeah, I mean, this is part of the problem, Steve. So then in 2013, he goes to the White House uh, to be special counselor to Barack Obama. Uh, and that requires that you, you know, have financial disclosures every year. In his financial disclosure form in 2013, he not only fails to disclose these 75,000 shares of stock that he has in Jewel Energy, which is funded in part by the Russian government, he also fails to disclose that he is on one of the three corporate boards that this entity has. Has. It's got this very complex ownership structure. He discloses he's on the company in Massachusetts, that he's on the board of a company in the Netherlands, but he fails to disclose that he's also on the executive board of the holding company. That's a clear violation of the disclosure rules um, and I think needs to be looked at. Sure. You know, what's interesting is there's such a double standard. Members of the Trump team may have, may have talked to some Russians and... You know, we don't know the complete nature of that yet because the investigation is still out. We have talked to it is a lot different than actually having money in the bank that's tied to the Kremlin. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think the question is, is during transitions, you always have conversations that take place and you want to hope uh, that nobody has made promises uh, and there's no evidence that any promises have nope. been made. What makes the Podesta cl case clear is there was a transfer of money and there was a transfer of a lot of money that stood to make John Podesta a lot of money. Um, that is unique and that's extremely troubling because as the time that that transfer is taking place, he is advising Hillary Clinton at the State Department. We know that from the Podesta right. emails that he's helping her make personnel decisions, speech decisions, policy decisions. He's meeting with her monthly. So it, it's a transfer of money from a foreign government as a time right. that he is advising America's chief diplomat, Hillary Clinton. And what are the chances of the uh, big three networks doing the story tonight, Peter? <laughs> well, I, I think it's, yeah. I've said for a long it's time, a when story. it comes to Russia, right. we always want to okay. make sure that this stuff is vetted. Okay. Uh, Peter Schweizer, thank you very much.